He's been such a floor general for the Nano Pod this season. Speed didn't get that one to go. But he's looking like he's attempting it back up. Oh, he got that one. That's his first points with the Raptors 905. Not bad. A fadeaway uh, layup there. Here he goes again. Watch Banton. Oh, tried to thread that through some defenders there. Lawson coming down with some speed. In with the Raptors 905. You get to apply it directly to the game. And I think we've seen Isaac Bonga do just that. He had played some great defense in that last possession there. As Delano, full speed ahead, straight to the rim. You see his length and that step. You know, my city manager was a woman. I have three commissioners now that are women. We have many women in senior leadership positions. Head of our hospital is a woman, etc. We have women in this town rule. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, the way that he moves, especially when he's getting to the, the rim as Aaron Best gets to the rim. High off the backboard, gets that one to go. I'm telling you, Aaron Best, I'm calling it now, Amy. He's going to have another great game. Yeah. And that's something that, you know, Patrick Matombo, head coach 9-5, that he really preaches to his team. He's going to do something. Yeah. Uh, when you've got a score, all he needs is a simple ball screen. Malik Ellison with the offensive rebound put back. I mean, I am so excited for basketball in Saga. This team is exciting and fun, and they take care of business every night. I know him from having played kind of next yes. to him and sharing a practice court and everything that, uh, you know, oh, as Brian comes up, yes. <laughs> and I just know him as a fan. Sue, so you jump in, coach, whenever you want. Well, <laughs> the, the great attack to the back. The goal and the attempt is a score. And I was a score like that. That was my mentality, the scoring mentality. And I want to ask you, obviously playing, coaching. Yes, I mean, well, well the segue into the women's, women's basketball, I am, I'm, obviously I'm a fan, and I, I am enjoying the success that we're having. Justin Smith. Ouch, put Ouch. that one down. We'll be right back for some more second quarter action. Open a water bottle, bottle by myself. Uh, it was it was a very scary time in my life. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, oh, as we get a bit of a stoppage to play here, you know, Sue, I want to ask you just how much growth you've seen from the time that you played. I know it's maybe been a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> one of his college assistant coaches earlier this year, Jamie Jeremy Case, um, yeah. was on Bill Sell's staff at Kansas about Ski, and he said, you know, it's just because he had stints with the Lakers and Detroit and Oklahoma and with the Raptors, he said, he's just so mature. Champagne with the big end one. Let's the, see. The take, the good strong take right to the basket. At such a young age, at the 2000 Olympics, just her being so dominant and being such a force and then to watch her make the WNBA. Uh, that are not just being a female athlete, but the decision makers as well. And, you know, he said that to me, he's like, it means a lot. Just the, on a diversity standpoint, as Svima Hailu gets the beautiful shot to go. Uh, I think that's what enriches the decision making process. Multiple hats all the time too. Nikki is a great example. She's our camera operator for tonight, but she's also the in arena host for the Toronto Blue Jays as well. So she went to a school where she got to play. She got to play multiple position and she got time in her first year onwards and grew tremendously. A game when she checked in. I was I was with the Atlanta Dream and she had checked in with the Connecticut Sun and I, at least for a long time it is. So it, it, it really does alter the course of your career as Reggie Perry throws that one down hard. Amazing. I know Congrats. I know it's an exciting <laughs> summer, right? When you've got something, September comes quick. Key word in that sentence, you guys are the only uh, foundation that, that focuses on gender equality in this sense. You know, something that stood out to me before the game was the fact that uh, the GM uh, of, of the G League for the Skyhawks. Yes, yep, yep. There's fantastic. now also Amber Nichols for Washington Capital City Go-Go, but it takes a trip. Uh, the death of George Floyd, um, things have really shifted significantly, and we're seeing that there are more people that are concerned. March is a celebration. What, does, what do you and your organization specifically do in the month of March to raise awareness? Oh, what don't we do? Yeah. We, we are having so many events. We are working with corporations to help them in terms of bringing about gender equity. 
We are working with community organizations, we're working with government, we're working even at the UN level. It's, it's a busy time, it's an exciting time, and it's an opportunity for us to really make a mark around gender equality. Absolutely, as Brian Tyree gets the ball off of Tillman there. Right, so basketball was his thing. He's now a teacher, but he played all the way up to university. Wow. So uh, he's a big basketball person. He's with coaches at his school. It's what works for my son, so I think it'll work for many people. I always say that sports is the reflection of society, in a sense. So the change that we see in sports. Their sense of confidence just plummets. Mm -hmm. And so to me, sports is a really great opportunity to build self-confidence and, and carry you through life. Yeah, yeah these absolutely. guys like to get up and down and play tough. AJ Lawson, who's a Canadian, uh, I've loved watching his career at played for Frank Martin at yes. South Carolina. He definitely knows how to find opportunities, that's for sure. Is it translating tonight? No, but has it translated into many other games? Yes. Woo. As Viva Hailu drops that time on the Raptors 905 last season as well. He pulls up with a three, no go there. He also suffered a torn ACL last season, so he's coming back and he's already making his presence known to the 905. It was his defense that kept him with the 905. Oh! Reggie Perry with a huge slam dunk. Four seconds left, Reggie Perry. Ouch, someone checked the rim. Favorite WNBA player is Skylar Diggins, as well as Diana Taurasi. He couldn't choose between the two, but then Delano Banton, like he said, Cheyenne Day Wilson at Duke, a soon-to-be WNBA player. When you see the NBA players, the Toronto Raptors players, you know, come to the 905 and just kind of remind themselves, first of all, let alone everybody else, like, hey, look at my skill set. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of time left, but you certainly just want to make sure you're securing the ball. All right, give them the two, but here, here we go. go. Well, it says a lot about this team and this organization where they are right now. Again, oh, Fiji. Oh, 40? He oh! checked. He checked. And he gets 40 points. Ukrainian born. Yes. Dealing with a lot right now. Absolutely. And to come out and just give himself to this game. Uh, wow. Incredible performance from Ski tonight.